Why does it sound so good? It doesn't make sense. It's, it sounds really good. <clears throat> hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm gonna be recording this car. Hello. Hi. You have a cute dog. So, like I was saying, this is a Range Rover Sport HSE, and I'm reviewing it today. And yeah, this thing has a 2.0 liter four cylinder that produces 398 horsepower and around 350 newton meters of torque. It goes 0 to 60 in 8.9 uh, 8 to 9 seconds. Yeah, it's slow. It's really slow. And there are other versions of this car, like the base version, which costs $69,000, as the HSC costs $79,000 for some reason. Not sure why, but yeah, you were gonna see a puny engine when I opened the hood. But literally, the base model, the SV HVAR, it has it's sixty nine thousand dollars, but it actually has a three point zero liter six cylinder, and it goes zero to sixty in six point nine seconds. And then the top model, the SVR, and there is an SVR autobiography. They both have a 4.0 liter V8 that goes 0 to 60 in like 5 and 4.5 seconds respectively. And this one just so happens to be the slowest. And this is what it looks like with everything open. So, yeah, let me reposition the camera. I don't think I need to, but let me just close these two doors. I think you guys can see the trunk now. If not, I'll reposition it yet. Yeah, I'm gonna reposition it. This is a test to see if this car can use the key fob, which actually, since I'm talking about the key fob right now, I'll show you what's on it. So on the key fob, you have the lock button. You have the lock button, you have the unlock button. For some reason, you have a button to turn on the lights. And then you have a button to uh, open the trunk. And then you had your, um, the hazard lights on the key fob. On the back, you will see the Land Rover logo. So this is the fuel tank. It, ca uh, it can do 17 miles per gallon in the city and 23 miles per gallon on the highway. And it makes it really practical and yeah, you just press this to open. Right now, the car is locked. And when you lock and unlock the doors, this happens to the mirrors. So when you unlock the door on the Range Rover, I'm pretty sure this is working with every like 2020 model for sure. Unlock the doors, and the mirrors come out to what you place them to. Now lock the doors. As you can see, you can lock it from the key fob. But this is also the part oh i see myself and this is the part that you can lock it with i guess and the mirrors will close in but yeah back to the fuel tank since it's locked right now it shouldn't be open it shouldn't be allowed to open right right no wrong wrong you can open it if it's locked that's actually really unfortunate for range rover owners somebody just comes into your Range Rover, let's just say I'm the bad guy here. All right, this is what I'm gonna look like. Oh yeah, I'm gonna shove some just dangerous juices in your fuel tank. No, I'm not gonna do that. All right, Range Rover rims, they always look the same, like normal. Now you can open the trunk Two different ways from the key fob and this one but there's something nice about this car well one thing isn't nice and one thing is nice now look in here look how much space that uh, there is that's one nice thing and then under here you got your spare tire 
It's a gigantic spare tire, but once you use it, you have a lot of space under here, too. Don't even ask me what all that stuff is. Lint, maybe? I don't know. And then this is probably, like, the rear razor and lower. See? It, it lowers it down so you can shove in stuff. And then if you want it to go back up, see this? It's going up and down. I'm pretty sure there's an air suspension. So, yeah, you can see it's already raised really high. So, I'll show you guys what it looks like from the side. Or, like, halfway side. What it looks like. Because that might actually be a good idea. So, I'm going to press the razor and lower it to its maximum. So, this is lowering it. that it's done you know it only lowers the back so I really shouldn't even show you the front but yeah so let's just show you what it did <laughs> it looks so weird what is that no that's not legal I mean it's it's it is legal you can drive it around like that but you probably don't want to Any day now. Thank you. And that's its maximum. Wow, you can see a lot of the inside of that. It looks like leather, but I don't think it is. But yeah, you can lower the back to put in things, or if you're like a gigantic man. Yeah. Oh my god. Eee. You know, there is a lot of space back here, and I would test trying to get out, but there is no escape. You don't have any release lever. You can't escape here. If you want to escape, you have to climb through here. And then just get through the doors like a traditional person. But yeah, there's no escape. So if I want to, I could test it by keeping the key with me. And trying to open it. And like I said, that's the most special thing about the trunk. You can click it on the key. And it will close. This is one high boy. It's also really reflective. But now we move on to the inside of the car. Oh yeah. Not yet. I remember when I told you I wanted to show you guys the disgusting engine. Well, it's not that disgusting. It doesn't look bad or anything. It's just not powerful. That's the only thing. It goes like 0 to 60 in 8.9 seconds. It's slow. That's why I dislike it. But, let's see this. Whoa, it like jumped up a lot. What the heck? Alright. So I'm, and now I'm gonna open it. Under here, there's gonna be a little lever. If you feel it, you can feel a rough side and a nice and smooth side. So you want to pull on the nice and smooth side and pull it this way where I move my hand and then you can open it. Now the reason why it works like that, well guys, it's going to open all the way, so I didn't want you to open all the way. All right, but like I was saying, you see it like there's a rough part here indicating that's not where you touch. I'm going to zoom it in for you. Yeah, that's, this is not where you touch, but then you go around to this side, and that's where you pull it, and you'll see the locks are moving on that side, and on that side, because there are two latches that it holds on to. And here's the engine. I'm going to zoom it out so you guys can see the entire part. And there's a bunch of other stuff on the sides, and I'm pretty sure the V8 takes up this entire space which is this is not that bad actually it's it looks like it's gonna eat me so i'm probably gonna close this you know what i can't do it with one arm i'm too weak 
on two weeks for literally every single car. So yeah, closing it is nice and simple. Mm. Unless you're short like me. Don't close so hard, don't close so hard. Please don't close, stop, stop. Told you not to close that hard. Are you kidding me? Uh, I am too weak for this. But next we move on to the interior of the car.